But why should IPOB be flying a flag, do you think, in a sovereign state like Nigeria? Isn't that enough to call it a terrorist organization? Is that not national uh, security being breached? Well, uh, from a strict legal perspective, uh, that is unacceptable to fly the flag of uh, a, a, a planned country, so to speak, inside a sovereign nation. It's, uh, it's an affront to the sovereignty of the country. Uh, but like Honorable Rakop said, uh, the approach would have been to find out the underlying factors that brought us to where we are and possibly engage more in dialogue instead of uh, an, an, an outright military action. Uh, yes, strictly speaking, legally, it is unacceptable, it is a challenge to the sovereignty of the nation, but reactions would have been a little bit more strategic, a little bit more tactical, a little bit more humane, mm -hmm. a little bit more all-encompassing, a little bit more, I mean, the approach could have been but, but, uh, more of dialogue. Let, let, me pick, let me pick you up on, on this very troubling development also that we saw during the week. The governor of uh, River State, Nyesom Wike, alleged that IPOB killed some people recently. How do you react to that? Well, I, I don't live in River State. I don't live in Port Harcourt, So he is the chief security officer of River State. I, I believe he has his sources. He has his reports. So uh, on the face of it, well... Uh, we, we, we give him the benefit of the doubt. I am not in any position to confirm or deny what he said, but for a governor of uh, a state to make such a pronouncement, then it should be taken seriously. Honorable Arakbo, let me go back to you there in, in Abuja now. I can imagine that uh, many want peace right now. What will your advice be to both the army on the one hand and to IBOB, considering that... Uh, Operation Python Dance will be there for quite a while, maybe to the end of this year. Well, for the, for the military, more like um, the leadership of the military, uh, the, the, the men should be guided and monitored by a senior officer. If they have to remain, uh, the, the sight of the military alone uh, portrays like it, it gives an impression of um, uh, a, a war zone it gives an impression of an imminent attack and if you have already a, a state like we have in Abia the sight of the military alone is going to continually provoke actions and reactions like I said earlier if it is possible for the police to replace the military, it, it, it will speak better peace. And for um, Nande Kanu and, 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 and group, <laughs> depending on how you want to classify the group now, who is part of the group, I, I think we should give peace a chance. What, what do you mean by giving peace a chance? Like I, I was just looking at your breaking news, the, the suggestion, uh, the, 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 the decision of the Eastern governors on what Kanu should do, I think is a welcome idea. The, the suggestion that he, he should really put to paper, atomize what it is that, that, that the agitation is all about and give peace a chance. Align the members of National Assembly from that zone, the governors who are chief security officers of the different states of the Eastern zone, mm -hmm. And indeed, the leaders, the traditional uh, uh, rulers, to, to come up with an agenda of what they think hmm. should be done. Okay. Giving peace a chance is, is both right. ways okay. from the side of the federal government because the, the military didn't appear on the scene. Be they beautiful. Let, let, let me put you on pause uh, just, just for a minute or two and come back to uh, Mr. Yebuchi here. Now, the, the idea of Biafra on its own. Uh, has, has lingered for long, for decades now. We've been listen, listening about uh, uh, what Biafra and the agitations, perhaps restructuring didn't do justice to that. But what will Biafra mean and what will it be, uh, should I say, what, what will that bring differently to people if, if a state like that were to, to, be, 
to be seen as lawful? Um, well, um, I would uh, explain the views of Governor Kezi Bazu on the Biafran issue. He has a view? Yes. Governor Ibazo believes that uh, the Biafran idea should represent or represents the push for a better Nigeria, a more equitable Nigeria, a Nigeria where every citizen has a voice, every citizen has a right. Governor Ibazo believes that the Biafran ideology should represent equity in this country. But restructuring is going to address all of that. Oh, yes. So why, it is, why, it is, it is why a, shouldn't it, the, uh, uh, IPOB just wait for that time when that restructuring happens? Well, I, 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 can't, I, don't, I can't speak for IPOB. All I'm saying is that Governor Ibazo believes that the Biafran ideology should remain an ideology that should help us push for a more egalitarian country where appointments, federal presence are spread equitably. But what do you think? I am in complete agreement. I believe personally that a, a, a more equitable Nigeria is better for the Igbos. And this point must be made. Igbos, more than any other tribe in this country, believe more in a united Nigeria because it is only the Igbo race that you will find in every part of this country with substantial capital investments. You won't find that amongst other tribes. So Igbos have shown that they believe in this country. They have shown that they want Nigeria to succeed. All they want is justice. All they want is equity. All they want is fairness. Governor Ibrahim believes that the Biafran ideology should be used to push for a better Nigeria. He is yet to be convinced that the issue of physically demarcating the area called Biafra by way of secession from Nigeria is yet to be convinced that that is the best way to take. Let's talk to our Honorable Mrapo. Uh, is, is this situation surmountable, do you think? Uh, will a show of force restore normalcy? Because the uh, uh, Operation uh, Python Dance actually took effect today, Friday. Like I said, like I said before, you don't use um, fire for fire. Uh, what is agitation? What is the clamor for restructuring? We know what is structure. We know what is restructuring. It means when you talk about restructuring, it means that there is a structure that is already on ground. And if certain persons, group of persons, sector or segment of the society feels that there is something wrong with that structure, and they are clamoring, they are agitating that you take a second look at that structure. I think it beholds on the leadership, and when I mean the leadership now, the federal government to begin to look at what should be done. Restructuring, yes. What, why do you want us to restructure? It, it's, for me, I think it's simple. If a man says, I no longer feel like I'm part of this family, this family called Nigeria. My people do no longer feel like they belong to this family. The necessary thing to do, and I believe that the best thing to do, is to say, what is it that you're not happy about? Perchance, the other party would have just overlooked that uh, uh, agitation or displeasure or uh, what is it that does not make... Uh, Honorable Rapport, like I'll take that as your... As your final words, because we're really running short of time, but what will be your own final words? Uh, I am not just a resident of Aba, but an indigenous of Aba. And uh, Aba is a great city. We are very industrious. We need peace mm. for us to forge ahead. We, for the first time in several, several years and decades, we have a governor who is genuinely committed to turning the economy of Aba around. We can only do that under an atmosphere of peace. We can only attract investment. We can only push the 
the manufacturing ingenuity of Aba where there is peace. One my appeal to the people of Aba, my own people, is that let us take it easy, let us be calm, let us respect the laws. Only thank you Do so much not indeed. confront a military man with a gun. That's thank suicide. So, thank you so much indeed. Onyebuchi Emema Anka is the uh, special advisor to the, uh, to the um, governor of Abia State, Okeze Ikbeazu, on public communications. Many thanks indeed for sharing uh, your, those views with us. And also, Honorable Joan Mrapo from Delta State, a member of the House of Representatives. Many thanks indeed to you as well in Abuja and to everyone who's been watching from Nigeria and across the world. Many thanks for watching. This is State of the Nation. I am Gimba Umar. Bye for now.